Welcome back, Marauders. Hopefully you're having fun with geometry, out here surfing and running into some animals and stuff. You guys having fun with the geometry? Oh, 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 oh. Good, I'm glad you're liking it. Okay, here's just a few clues and hints to help you out with these uh, BAPs, as they call them, which stands for Big Awesome Problem. I think that's what it stands for. Let's check them out. All right, so when you do these problems, one of the keys is to write in all the angles as you work these out. Don't just fill in this list. You can't do these in order because you don't know which letter you'll find first. You might find H first. But as you look at these, look at the markings like, hey, these two angles are the same. Too bad I don't know them. And these two sides are the same. Well, what does that tell me? Well, if these sides are the same, we must have an isosceles triangle. That means the base angles just go opposite. These two are the same. Hmm, I don't know about that. But look for things. Hey, hey, here's a couple double lines. They're parallel. Maybe I can do a Z, like a Z. The alternate interior angles are the same, but I don't know those. There's probably a lot of Zs. Look, here's another Z. Oh, wait a minute. I know this one. I could probably go up here. See, there's the Z, the alternate interior angles. Oh, and these are the same. And then from there, I think I'm onto a roll. Like I could say, hey, here's a, if I get these, I could go, there's a straight line. That's 180. Or maybe I could finish up this triangle. That's 180. Or I could go, wait, if I know this angle, then I know this angle, because those angles are vertical. And if I know one of those angles, then I could go, hey, that's a 180. That makes 180. And these make 180. And start looking for clues. I might even find something strange like, hey, here's a quadrilateral. That's 360. I might, so my strategies could vary. Here's another one. Notice all the parallel lines. Look for Z's once again. There could be, maybe you could fill up this triangle. And like I say, when you know an angle, don't just write down here, kind of go, wait, if that's 28, that guy's vertical to this. These guys are the same, 28. Write them in on the drawing as you go. And then once again, oh, that's a 180. That's a straight line. 180 minus says 152, yeah. And then this, this here would go with this here. That's vertical. So write them in as you go. And maybe I can do some other things. Hey, here's parallel lines. Maybe I can find some Z's again. So there's all types of things hidden all over the place. A lot of look for these Z's, look for straight lines, look for 180's. So fill them in on here and then fill them in on here because you might find angles. You don't think you need them because they're not down here, but you do. Here's another one. There's a gigantic Z in here and parallel lines. And this last one, this one's extra fun because it's got all types of stuff. I do see the parallel lines. There's the parallel lines. I can look for Z's like, oh, there's a Z, you know. You can even do a reverse Z. You know, some people don't think about it like, like a reverse Z. That means these two would go together. But what else do I see? Hey, here's some interesting things. Here's a pentagon. This adds up to, what was it? All right. 40 for a pentagon. So there's a bunch of shapes in here. You can even make gigantic shapes like this and go, hey, there's a, there's a quadrilateral or here's another quadrilateral. Or I could even extend it all the way down. So whatever you see, lots of quadrilaterals here. Here's another quadrilateral. And one last thing I noticed, even in right in there. Uh, hey, what about these three? That makes a full 360, doesn't it? If you go there, in fact, anywhere you go around, anywhere all the way around a point, 360. 360, if you go all the way around. Okay, so use those clues, fill them out, and have them fun.